Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of NECA Newscast. My name is Tom Green, and I'll be your host through this trip covering all things NECA and the electrical industry. In this edition, we'll talk about a few workshops helping to reintroduce electrical contractors to lighting solutions. We'll take you to LED 101, solar photovoltaic business opportunities and lighting control classes and discuss what it all means for the building owner and electrical contractor. Then we'll show you a little from a student chapter summit luncheon, part of an anti-counterfeit panel discussion, and finish up with the lead new construction review class. It all starts right now. New technologies like LED and solar photovoltaics continue to be dominant topics when it comes to the future of electrical contracting. With the changes and challenges our economy has gone through, it makes perfect sense for building owners to demand lighting retrofits to save money and gain tax incentives. And it's a win-win because that means more work for contractors at a time when traditional construction work is slowing down. The evidence is mounting that LEDs are going to be the way of the future, at least according to Christopher Rood from Rood Lighting. The future of lighting is going to be LED. There's no question about it. Um, they should start to educate themselves. They should start to find information on LEDs so that they can make informed decisions and help their customers make informed decisions going forward. Jim Dunlop, curriculum specialist from the NJATC, said during his presentation on solar photovoltaics that contractors are seeing the benefits of embracing this new technology for both their customers and their new businesses. A lot of the traditional electrical contractors involved in the core business, uh, and, and, and I think they're recognizing opportunities in not only renewable power generation, distributed power systems, and energy efficiency is, is potentially being uh, lucrative uh, new business opportunities uh, for them. And contractors are increasingly turning to lighting control systems to save not only money for the building owner, but also to help save the environment. Robert Sillick with Ostrom Sylvania stressed the importance of integrating lighting within building systems and getting owners to see the inherent value in a forward-thinking approach. But now we're really talking about integrating all these control systems together. The internet obviously was not there 20 years ago the way it is today. It allows remote control, complete building control, artificial intelligence in managing the buildings and, and uh, making adaptive decisions underway. If the owner doesn't demand this type of uh, control and this type of flexibility, then it's never actually going to be installed by the contractors themselves. NECA continues its efforts to break into college campuses to recruit new talent. And did you know that NECA has 17 student chapters all over the United States, including two new chapters just chartered in January at the Illinois Institute of Technology and Youngstown State University. With these groups, NECA hopes to reach out to future electrical contractors of America and get them interested in a career in the electrical trade. The student chapters recently held a summit that gave students from the different chapters the opportunity to network with each other as well as electrical contractors working in an industry they hope to join one day. A valuable experience to be sure. Here's what one student had to say about the meeting. It's great for fostering the growth for all of the students that are already especially interested in electrical construction. It uh, not only fosters their growth but creates a, bri a bridge or, uh, for the gap between our academic community and the, the actual industry. Look for NECA to continue to foster that growth for years to come with more and more student chapters. As the industry continues to evolve, one problem that remains is counterfeit goods coming into the United States from overseas. NECA's electrical contractor magazine, TED Magazine, published by the National Association of Electrical Distribution, as well as their partners at UL, the Underwriters Laboratory, and sponsoring manufacturers are among the leaders in an awareness campaign to warn everyone who stands to lose something about the dangers of these products. In Chicago, Bob Crane, leading enforcement specialist for UL, said that the counterfeit problem has only become worse over the last few years. UL has known for a number of years that there's been some counterfeiting of our labels, but the problem never really got to the drastic and dramatic numbers until about 15, maybe 18 years ago. We always had some security features in some of our more prone to be targeted counterfeit products. But with more and more product being manufactured overseas and offshore, the problem has escalated. So what is going on to ensure these products don't make it into contractors' hands? We are actively working uh, with our distribution channel partners, uh, trying to uncover and investigate deeply 
those individuals that might be participating in that illicit behavior. And uh, that gets right into, you know, my next point, which is uh, aggressive prosecution. You know, we are aggressively uh, going to go after people as we see them violate and try to knock off our products. We're going to be very aggressive about what we do uh, to bring those folks to justice. Want to see the whole discussion? Visit the website you see on your screen. The new Building Green Revolution is on everyone's mind these days. NECA is committed to providing members with the resources they need to be a part of the energy solutions market, including offering a review workshop on becoming LEED certified in new construction. So how did it apply to contractors? Well, besides taking an active interest in environmental protection, there are practical reasons to get involved and take a more active interest in this program. If they get points towards a LEED certification, it's simple. When contractors are involved early, they can cut costs and save themselves and building owners money in the short and long term. If we have everybody together at the beginning of the project, including the contractors, where they can have input rather than you know down the line during construction, then everybody can have an input and we can find synergies and ways to save money. That's it for this edition of NECA Newscast. Thanks for the click. I'm Tom Green. I'll see you next time.